Hey guys, in this video we will be creating our first app using Titanium Studio. Now the sample codes we are given when we actually initially create our project is actually really useful in the app.js. Uh, However, for uh, learning purposes we are going to actually delete all this without looking at it at all. Okay, and start from fresh. Uh, now what we're going to be creating is a hello, uh, a simple uh, app that just displays a text hello world and uh, let's it's uh, actually before I just like explain to you everything let's let me just create uh, write down the code so what we need is to create a window first okay so it, let's say var win equals uh, titanium dot UI dot is it dot nope create window now uh, I'm going to hide a bracket and inside that is going to be a curly brackets and when I enter the titanium studio is actually going to automatically uh, put the closing brackets into a third line or the next next line and then uh, it's going to indent so that I actually write some code inside here <coughs> now I'm going to uh, uh, what do you call it? State or set the background color of this uh, app to be uh, yellow. Okay, and what you need to remember is that off at the end of this variable, uh, right at the back or right at the end, you need a semicolon. Now, what we're going to do next is going to be creating a view. Now. Uh, the what well, basically what we're going to do is create a window okay and off inside that window is going to be a view and inside that view is going to be a label and that label is going to be displaying the text and then what we need to do is add this label into the view and then add this view into the window and then run the window okay so you'll see uh, let's create var a view equals titanium titanium yep that's right dot ui dot create view and because I at this stage is not going to actually uh, change any properties like the background color to anything I'm not going to require any uh, curly brackets and I'm just going to write brackets and then close it like so and then what we're going to do is be creating a label so bar uh, label equals titanium dot ui dot create create label and I need the brackets like usual and I'm also going to have a curly brackets because I'm going to actually uh, state or declare declare is not really a good word I'm going to uh, write down what kind of text I want this label to display so the text is going to be uh, let's say hello world just hello world like usual and uh, when this is similar to CSS, however, what we're going to uh, do when we want more than one uh, property, or just like we need, we want to declare the height and the width as well. Okay, what we need to do is uh, at the end of each uh, declaration. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what this is actually called the property and the value or the declaration. I don't know. At the end, basically, what we need is this a uh, comma. Now the height is going to be, I don't know, uh, 40 pixels. All you need to do is just write down 40 and then the width is going to be uh, 150. And don't forget the comma and then we are going to be putting this, uh, I don't know, uh, 150 pixels from the top. And let's change our color of our text. Uh, that's the background color is going to be yellow so let's change it to I don't know, red and because this is my last property I'm just going to call it property for now because the what you call it the professional term isn't really too important uh, at the end i we don't need a comma because that's the last one and then make sure that we have this uh, semicolon at the end now we have created our window our view and our label what we're going to do is add this label into our view so actually let me use uh, commas uh, actually comments so that is easy create 
window and hopefully this will be a better explanation when I'm like typing away create view and you don't know what some of the codes are create a uh, label displays text and stuff okay so add label to view so what we need to do is say we want you we want you view to add and inside the brackets we are going to say the variable name for what we want this view variable to add in this case it's label because I made this uh, create new create view to be a variable called view and this uh, create label to be a variable called label I'm not going to talk about this var stuff and so on because in my first video I explained that uh, the basic knowledge of JavaScript is required in order for you to uh, do well in Titanium Studio. So you do view.add brackets label and then semicolon and what happens is that this label is going to be included or added to view and then what we need to do is to add a view to window window so just like last time we say when we want you to add and inside the brackets we want uh, you to add view and semicolon at the end now last thing we want to do is actually uh, run this window or open this window so open window so what we say is win dot op open and nothing inside our brackets and then semicolon so uh, that's about it and let's save our work you see uh, over here we have this like star thing next to app the uh, our file name in this case app.js this means that it's not saved yet and you've edited your document let me just write uh, control uh, press control s or command s if you use a mac and there we go i've saved this app.js and i'll go to my app, app explorer and go to run and I'll run iPhone simulator now in this uh, video series I am going to basically always run this iPhone simulator because it's just so much quicker to load the simulator and run loading this emulator takes ages there we go it's mostly it's already done but uh, the the looks is going to be or the default is going to be somewhat different it's mostly going to be the same so don't worry if you're a Windows user now there we go we have uh, a window like we created over here if you can s follow my mouse if you can actually see it over here we have created a new window and we have set the back background color to be yellow like so and we have added this uh, we have created a view we'll talk about more about a window view and uh, like adding view to window later on because at this moment all you can see is well we have this window with a background color of yellow and we have a label that display the text hello world but what the hell is this view accomplishing and why the why did I have to like uh, add the label to view and then view to win so, uh, I'll explain all about that in my later tuto uh, tutorial videos but as of now let's just look at this and say that well we have a background color of yellow and our label has a text hello world the height is 40 the width is 150 I think uh, it's 150 pixels from the top so if I change this it's going to move a bit down or up and the color of my text is red so there we go that's your first hello world app and the cool thing about the simulator is if you actually close this you have all these uh, apps you've been playing around with if you have I've been playing around with one of some of the default oops I won't show you this now uh, things are created like a loan calculator I created like a recipe app and there's like test project trial project and sample project and so on and sample project is actually this one yeah so there we have it and in my next video we will be uh, customizing this uh, our first app to add more cool features to it so uh, actually uh, I forgot to mention uh, Titanium Studio uh, generally focuses on creating uh, these kind of utility productivity apps 
with tabbed applications and buttons and like inputting numbers and text and displaying and calculating and stuff but you can actually uh, add modules like add-ons and stuff uh, to create more stuff like games you can actually create cool looking 2d and even 3d which I think is a bit difficult but you can actually do it uh, games and you can have like box 2d and stuff which is one of the engines engines yeah I think it's an engine uh, that created or is used by Angry Birds so you can if you learn Titanium Studio you can actually create games for uh, iPhone Android and iPad so hopefully that's going to motivate uh, some of the gaming enthusiast who wants to get like a couple bucks from uh, App Store and the uh, Google Play yeah the Android market by publishing your game to uh, keep on watching my videos uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later